How y'all doing? About to do this application um, video. Um, it's going to show off a couple of useful apps that I feel useful on your phone. First, I'm going to show you to download before you download any new apps. It's called the Lookout application. Um, for any new user, anyone who wants to shut up, anyone that wants to use, you know, their phone smoothly and have it running smoothly, download this. It's an antivirus protector. Um, it's a backup for your phone and also finds your phone if, if it's ever missing. I am apologizing. Hold on, let me close this door. These dogs. Stay in here, Napoleon. <clears throat> okay. So, anyway, this is, you know, very useful in the background. It only runs when needed, so it will not drain your battery. It will prevent your phone from getting messed up, though. Uh, this is a messaging widget. I downloaded it from the market. All these applications are free. I don't want you know recommend anybody to go buy anything. You can get free stuff that works good too. Uh, it's a messenger widget, so it's a quicker way of getting to your messages. You know, you go straight there from there. Um, you can quickly text that person. You can set that person to whoever you want. You can have it be a random, you know, choice selection. You can you know compose quick. This is a lot easier than having to go and have this on your desktop, the messenger, and then click it. Messenger is gonna go to wherever this one last one was. I just don't like to, you know, have to choose and then type in a contact. It's just too much. So just get the widget, and I'll show you what that widget looks like. It's this little blue one right here. I can't really remember the name, but it's messaging widget. So just type in messaging widget in the market. The next I'm gonna go to since it's right there is called Mobile Buzz. That's right here. It's a running widget, just like Twitter, just like um, any other widget you might have sitting on your desktop that runs in the background. Come on now, I didn't want to launch it. But this is for, you know, anybody who wants to, you know, stay up on anything that has to do with cell phones, anything mobile related. And you can have it preset. I hate trying to do these videos and click these things. It's kind of hard. Sorry. And you can have your settings set up for Android, Blackberry, mobile news, iPhone. It's just all, you know, all that stuff that you would want to know. You don't want to go look up. It's right here. Uh, market suggestions will, you know, suggest the top rated mark, uh, market apps and widgets and stuff like that. It's in color as well, I think, I do believe. Yes, yeah, in color. I only use it whenever I just feel like quickly finding applications. I don't want to look them up. I'll just go ahead and come in here. You click it. It takes you straight to the market. If I want to go get the weather channel, it takes me straight to the Android market. And you get it from there. I don't really use it too much. Uh, music Junk is to me better than iMusic. All of the downloads work. You can download full albums. You can preview a song. Let's see. I'm not gonna put that in there. Let's try. It's hard to freaking type on this thing and shoot a video. Jay Z. Let's just see any song that might pop up. You see, it says preview lyrics or download. Preview it real quick. It has a pause button up here. It has a shut up. And it has the download um, option. You can download straight from here. You can go and click it and download it. And it'll show you the progress. And they download pretty fast and straight into your library, whatever music library you may be using. Uh, this is Advanced Task Killer. It's the free one. I didn't buy it. There's one that's 4.99 or 3.99, but forget it. It's, this one works fine. Kills the apps and kills itself if you have a click. Bluetooth uh, file transfer, you can send big videos and stuff like that that you couldn't send through a message. You can send it to Bluetooth again because I know they took that off of a lot of the phones, especially with Verizon users. We usually can't send stuff through Bluetooth. This is auto tilt. Um, let me give you a demonstration. In most cases, you'll be texting. Let's say I want to go text this person or com compose something. Um, should just went straight to compose. And you know you got it in portrait. You turn it to landscape. Accelerometer comes on, and bio it comes on. But if you had that auto tilt turned off, which will show red whenever it's off. Come on. Go ahead and compose quicker that way. See how that widget's a lot more useful. And you turn it sideways. No matter how many times you do it, it won't turn to landscape. So that'll save you time if you don't want your phone to always switch straight to that quarter keyboard. Linda File Manager is the manager I use for managing my applications and stuff like that. And Unquick Uninstall is to uninstall stuff a lot faster. This is an audio manager right here. 
So you can slow, you can turn things on, um, up and down as far as volume is concerned without having to go through your settings or holding your volume rocker to turn the volume all the way down. You can turn your music volume to where you want. You can turn your line volume to where you want and all that. Um, mm -mm -mm, go to this page. Gesture search is an a search all application. Swipe that back. Uh, you can swipe what you want to say as if you had a stylus, and it'll you can spell words with it. And, you know, it'll just start you know, spelling it out. You swipe backwards to delete stuff like that. Very useful. And whenever you actually find what you want. Hope that picked it up and it picked up an M. Forget it. Um, if you see what you want, you just go in here and click it, and it'll take you straight to that app or that place. So it's better than search all to me because it's faster and it's fun to play with and fun to use. Uh, Google Goggles is a 2.1 application. You do need 2.1 to use it, and it takes pictures of things and searches it on Google. That's it. Um, yellow Book is a yellow page app. You can voice search or you can type it in. Go ahead and do a voice one. Subway. Do, 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 do. There we go. And you can point it out or you can type in where you're at. And it'll find it. It always does. I haven't had a problem with it yet. Key ring is for your rewards cards for different stores. You scan it in here, save it, and you have the barcode saved. And that's your personal rewards card barcode. You can add a card and all that stuff. Where is the locator for movies, gas prices, it even has a Starbucks in here. Um, let me get you back to the home page of this one, this app. Do, 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 do. Come on. I don't want the new version yet. See, you got movies, weather, news, all that good stuff. Yeah. Play with it when you get it, but I just want to get these apps to you. Mm, I skipped my browser. This is Xscope Lite. Uh, this is the browser I use. It's a lot faster. Um, it loads pages quicker, and when they're finished loading, they just pop up. And it just—I just like it better. It moves faster. It's, it's, everything's in color. Settings is in color. Home page has the bookmarks as the home page versus a home page. You know, so that's a cool thing. You know, some people like to have a home page set, but you c can do that if you want. But I just like my bookmarks to be my home page. You can have it as a default browser as well. Um, I don't know if I, I went into depth of this, these widgets on my last um, video, so I screw them. Widgets. Uh, Clip Store is very useful if you like to copy and paste a lot. I don't, so you see I only have three because I was playing around. But if I click this, it registers. I go somewhere that I want to paste it, and I just hold down and paste it. If I want to copy it, select all, copy. And it goes straight to the clip store. And it'll be in there. See, it's up there at the top now. So, I mean, you can decide how many you want, how many different uh, copy, copied files you want. Let me see. Configuration. Final configuration. Max length. And it can go up to 50. I really don't copy and paste that much, so I'll never have 50. But that's about it for the video. I kept it under nine minutes, thank God. But I'm just going to scroll through my um, program so you can see the different ones. Clip store, so y'all can just see real quick. If you see any that I didn't go over, let's go ahead and download them and play with them. Almost done. My T, my V. Where's my Droid? Download it if you put your phone on vibrate. That's all I can say. Because when you put your phone on vibrate and you put it down in the house and you can't find it, where's my Droid? We'll find it for you. All you need is another phone. Text the keyword that you set up in here, an intention word, where's my droid, whatever, you can say whatever you want to say. Text that to this phone and all of your uh, settings will be turned to uh, the max volume and it'll ring for how long you tell it to ring for. Very helpful if you put your phone on a lot like me. Well, that's it. Subscribe and uh, have a good one.